Oh, hey guys, I hope you're well. And um, so today we're going to be looking at um, how to diagonalize a matrix using MATLAB. And uh, yeah, so on a slight note, um, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. So thanking you in advance. Okay, cool. So let's get started. So I'll name a matrix M. And then that's uh, 3, 2, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, and then two, then four, then minus three. Okay. And then I need to find the determinant. So determinant of M. So uh, since uh, since the determinant is not equal to zero, therefore The matrix is inevitable. Okay, so um, so we'll find the inverse. So inv and m. So there we are. Then the characteristic polynomial. So poly and m. So that's uh, x cubed zero minus seven x plus six. And then I need to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. So that's equals eig m. So these are the eigenvectors, and then these are the eigenvalues, which are the roots to that polynomial. Okay, and then uh, now, uh, sorry, yeah. Then I need to find the inverse for um, uh, for the matrix P. So P one equals inv. So there we are. So what I need to do is I need to show. Um, to show that d equals p1 times m times p. So that's uh, diagonalizing the matrix. Okay, so d equals um, p1 times m times p, which is true. So, you know, in logical, in logical reasoning in mathematics, um, 0 is false and 1 is true. So it's 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's true. Okay, and then um, I'll just show you to you, just multiply it out. So, um, so P1 times M times, times P. So here we are, cool. So yeah, that's how you diagonalize a matrix um, using MATLAB. Okay, cool. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and thank you in advance. Cool, have a good day, bye-bye.